Hey guys, it's Philip from the Honda Resource. I'm coming back to you with another video on a 97-01 Honda CRV. So this customer brought this one in to put front brake pads on it. I think it's going to need a little more work than just front brake pads, but I figured I could shoot a quick video and show you how to do front brake pads on your 97-01 Honda CRV. Stay tuned. Let's get to the video. So we'll begin by removing the five lug nuts. They're 19 millimeter. Next thing we need to do is take our 14 millimeters out here. That's going to let the, the, the caliper come off. Now that we've got those two bolts out, the caliper can slide off. And we just lay it up top like that. The pads are here and here. So you just slide them off like so. So I'll also show you how to replace the brake rotor. As you can see this one here, the pad is worn out to the point that it's begun eating the rotor. So we'll cover replacement of the rotor also. All right, so to get the rotor off, and we already have the brake caliper off, as you saw previously, we can go ahead and take these two 17 millimeter bolts out, and then it'll allow this bracket to come off. All right, so that's the two 17 millimeter bolts, and then this bracket slides out. And that leaves us here with the rotor. So now we have to remove these two screws. These are JIS, not Phillips head, JIS. So to get these out, I just use my impact driver, which I got this from Home Depot. And it's a Tekton, T U K T O N brand. So the way you do this is you put it in here and you hit it with a hammer right here on the end. So it's, it's in the screw, hit it here, turns it right out. Same thing here. So we got both of those out. And now we have our rotor. You see how thin it is on this side where it's eating it off, and how thick it is on this side. This is not repairable. Replace it. All right, so I've got the new rotor to install, and so here it is. But before I install it, just take a little brake cleaner and squirt on here because they put stuff on here to keep it from rusting. And it's just, Gets all that crap off of there. All right. So now what we're gonna do is, if you look, it's still got the little holes where our screws go in. So we have to align it to where, because this one's right here by that stud. So it's just like that. Now I'm just gonna use a regular old Phillips head screwdriver to reinstall these, just like so. Next, we'll install our caliper bracket. It's the two 17 millimeter bolts. All right, and also while you're here, check these sliders and make sure they're good and lubed up. If they're, if you can't move them freely like this, you need to take them out like this. Take them out like this and leave them up real good. You can see that's got some good grease on it, so we're good there. And then just slide back in and pop back into that boot. That's all you gotta do to that. To reinstall the new brakes, we just make sure that the squealer, we have the correct one, because on the passenger side, the squealer is here. The driver side, the squealer is here, and you can use your old pad for reference, all right? So. The one with the squiller always goes on the inside, never goes on the outside. It goes like that. So then we have to compress this piston back into the caliper because if we try to install it now, it's not going to fit. 
So to do that, we just use a good old C-clamp like this. So once you get that into the piston, you could just put it on the back side like this. And just slowly turn it back in. See how that's going back in? All right, so once the piston's all the way in, we're good. All right, now we just make sure that those are together, make sure our line is not twisted like that. And this slides over, push your little slide pins in. I'm going to put our 14s on the back. Now we'll reinstall both wheels. So on the lug nuts, you always want to tighten a crisscross pattern. Don't ever just go in a circle. So we'll start here, and go here, then here, then here, then here. So those are All right, then we'll install the wheel over here. So before you take off, before you start the truck, Pump the brake a couple times as you see it went all the way to the floor. Pump it a couple times until you have a good brake pedal. What this is doing is pushing the. So I, you see how my brake pedal don't have near as much play in it now. So what's that? What that's doing is pushing the piston and the caliper back out to meet the new pads. So when you push that piston all the way in, there's still a little bit of play in there. So just by pumping it, it pushes that piston back out so that it meets up to the new pads and takes out all the play. If you just take off without uh, pumping the brakes, you ain't gonna have no brakes. So just be forewarned, pump the brake a couple times before you start the car. So that's it guys. Now you can successfully replace the front rotors and brake pads on your first generation Honda CRV. Again, the first generation is 1997-2001, so if you're in that year range, same process. If you found this video helpful, please leave a like below, and if you found it helpful, leave me a comment let me know how you found it helpful. As always, I'd love it if you subscribed and check out some more videos. I post some pretty good videos on DIY repair for the first generation Honda CRV. As always, I hope to see you on the next one. Peace.